This episode is sponsored by CruiseLine.com, where you can review cruise prices using easy-to-use cruise search. Hey, cruisers. Welcome on board Diamond Princess. If you are lucky enough to have booked a cruise on this ship, you are in for a surprise with Izumi, the Japanese bath. What is it, you ask? Well, Izumi is a very unique feature here on Diamond Princess, and it was modeled after a Japanese bath or an onsen. It's very unique in the cruising world, so we're here to talk just for a few moments about the basics, what it is, what you need to know, how much it costs, what the hours are, all of that important stuff, so that if you are sailing on this ship, you are fully prepared to experience Izumi. So Izumi is located at the aft of the ship on one of the higher decks. A portion of Izumi looks out over the back of the ship. That's the hydrotherapy pool. So let's talk a little bit more about the hours and what you can expect. So Izumi is kind of like a thermal spa or a thermal suite that you might experience on another ship except for that it just really, again, models a Japanese onsen. So what it does is it has a Japanese bath area which has some heated bathing areas with gorgeous views looking out over the side of the ship. Now those two areas are on both sides of the ship, so they are gender segregated. We'll tell you why they're gender segregated in just a few moments. There's also a sauna and beautiful steam rooms. In fact, the steam rooms, I wanna go ahead and pull up my photo on my notes here, more like a mist sauna. They change the scent of the day every so often. When we visited, the scent in the mist sauna or the steam room was green tea and lemongrass. So again, a lot like a thermal suite, a lot like a thermal spa, but with a little twist. So here's what makes this area a little bit different. And what might surprise you a bit about Azumi? Azumi during the hours of 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. in the morning is a nude spa. So in the female and male sides of the spa, you can go nude just as you would in a Japanese bath or an onsen. Now, the back area of the ship that's outdoors, the hydrotherapy pool that I mentioned that's overlooking the back of the ship, always requires you to wear bathing suits. So there's never going to be a time when you're outside walking around naked. Doesn't work that way. Just the inside segregated areas. So Izumi is open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day. And as I mentioned, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. is the nude time. Then from 10 a.m. to nude, it's bathing suit time. Then from 12.15 to 12.50 p.m., it's a viewing hour, which means that people who are guests on the ship can go check it out and see if it's something that they'd be interested in. I love that they allow people to walk in every day and scope it out and see what it's all about because I think it kind of demystifies it a little bit. Then from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m., it's bathing suit time again in all areas and you can go enjoy that and not have to worry about the nudity if that's not something that you're interested in. Now, when you go to Azumi, much like an onsen, you will be expected to wash thoroughly beforehand. There are beautiful showers with ample shower gel and shampoo and things like that for you to get cleaned up before you enter the Japanese baths. Very traditional, very appropriate, and I think it's a hygienic practice. I think it's awesome. So let's talk a little bit about the cost. So if you'd like to visit Izumi, you can get a two-hour pass for $15, or you can buy a five bathing pass or five you know, five pass ticket for $60. So you're basically getting five visits for the price of four. So we think this is just a beautiful, novel introduction to this ship. And we know that people are very much enjoying it. If this is something that you have experienced before, we would love to hear more about your experience at Izumi in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and hope that you have a wonderful time on Diamond Princess. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.